Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to unlock Netflix content that's not available in your region. All thanks to a simple tool that bypasses those geographic restrictions and opens up hundreds of libraries. With the VPN, you can skip the usual lineup of shows you've already seen and explore what's available elsewhere, all while chilling on the comfort of your couch. For this demo, I'll be using ExpressVPN to show you how easy it is to change your location and access a different country's library. There are tons of server options, so it really depends on what you're looking for. Lately, I've been curious about Korean content, so I wanted to check out what South Korea's Netflix has to offer. I can search for South Korea on this list of countries, click on it, and then this big button over here, and just like that, I'm connected to South Korea. Super quick and no waiting around. And then one last thing, all you need to do is refresh your browser. And as simple as that, you'll see all the content from the country that you've chosen, in this case, South Korea. Now I can dive into all of Netflix's Korean content, which I'm very much looking forward to. This is why I really like ExpressVPN. It hides my IP address, making it look like I'm in Korea, so I can access their library with zero hassle. And honestly, it's so fast and simple, plus it works with servers in over 105 countries, which is a major win. And by the way, I've linked full reviews down below if you want to see a full demo of ExpressVPN and the other VPNs which I'll mention, plus some discounts. By the way, a VPN does a lot more than just unlock content. It also protects your internet connection like a secure tunnel, keeping your data safe from threats and giving you added privacy and anonymity online. Think about using all those banking apps, crypto apps, or using public Wi-Fi without worrying about security. The cool thing about VPNs is that their value goes beyond just streaming. So if you're looking to watch stuff that's not available in your country, or want peace of mind knowing that your online activities are private, then I recommend giving a VPN a try. And for the most part, the steps are the same for either service. Both VPNs I'll be talking about work really well with high quality security features and usefulness. I'd encourage you to check out the reviews in the description to see how both can fit into your online life. That said, ExpressVPN is my go-to, so I'll recommend that first. It's super easy to use and really fast. NordVPN though offers a lot of extra features for those who want more control over their online experience. The interface is great, especially with a map for my fellow geo nerds out there, but with both services, you can watch Netflix or any other streaming platform with zero worries about bandwidth throttling or speed issues. A lot of VPNs do slow down your connection, but both of these avoid that. Another basic but essential feature that any good VPN should have is a kill switch, and both of these do offer it. This will cut your connection if the VPN drops, protecting your data from exposure. Nord also has features like the dark web monitor, which checks if your credentials or personal information has been leaked online. Plus, both VPNs will let you secure multiple devices. Nord allows 10 and Express gives you up to 8. And with Nord's MeshNet, you can set up a private network with up to 50 devices, which is pretty cool. When it comes to server locations, NordVPN has more servers in more countries, over 7,000 servers in 118 countries, which is great for accessing all the Netflix libraries you could ever want. ExpressVPN has 3,000 servers in 105 countries, which is still impressive and more than enough to get you the access that you need. There's a lot more to these VPNs like pricing and extra features, but I'll leave that info down below if you want to dive into it. And don't forget, if you've already decided which one you want, you can use the discount code below to save an extra bit of cash. Before I wrap up, here's one quick note. When you're using a VPN to access Netflix or another streaming platform, servers closer to you are generally faster than those further away. So if you're in the US, for example, a server in Canada will likely give you better speeds than one in Thailand. While both VPNs are fast, NordVPN's NordLynx protocol is the best for speed, though ExpressVPN is still a bit quicker overall. If you turn on your VPN and the Netflix library hasn't changed, just refresh your browser tab and that should do the trick. You can always double check your location by visiting what is my IP address, but usually refreshing the browser is all you'll need. To get the best price on either Express or Nord, combine the discount code in the description with their longest term plan. It works out to be super cost effective in the long term. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you find what you were looking for and maybe even discover a new show to binge. If you've got any more questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll figure it out together. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.